Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap. Uh, positive green day today, plus 177. Uh, not as good as it should have been. I was up uh, quite a bit more, so gave some back. Oh, let me bring this back over. So, uh, Baba plus 175, Facebook 205, Netflix, my biggest winner, 675, Nvidia, nice winner, 250. Uh, Roku was one that was a, uh, my biggest loser, minus 660, Tesla, small winner, and then Uber. Uh, minus 548. So let's break these down, starting with Baba. So in Alibaba, uh, let me get to the intraday chart here. So in Alibaba, we um, uh, we it started to it flushed down and it was consolidating here, and so we took a short runner, uh, pushed down, took some off, it bounced up. Put one on, came back down, put uh, took some more off. So played it really well. It just I was looking for one more flush lower, and didn't quite get there. Started to push up. So when it did that, I just I just got out. Uh, done by eleven o'clock today. So I just uh, just not feeling like trading all afternoon. So just went ahead and closed it out. Still booked a profit of one seventy five. It was up quite a bit more uh, at one point. But uh, Facebook. Let's go to Facebook. Uh, Facebook plus 205 on the day. So on Facebook, um, we had this uh, big push lower and we caught this bounce right here. So as it came down to this pivot, we got long on a mighty 90 trade, bounced, uh, booked a nice winner there. Uh, Netflix, my biggest winner. So this was a this was a beautiful trade here. I uh, loved this one and and the this is this is something that uh, is a little bit foreign to newer traders, and so basically it was it, it came down as negative on the day, but it pushed back up and it was consolidating near break even. This red line is yesterday's close. And what happened as it was consolidating, the the entire Nasdaq and a lot of tech stocks were just absolutely selling off. I mean, big big moves to the downside, and Netflix continued to hold, 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 and so right here. Uh, I got long in anticipation that when or if I should say when the NASDAQ and the rest of the stock started to bounce just a little bit, Netflix would take off. And that's exactly what it did. So booked a nice profit there. Uh, NVIDIA booked profit of 250. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. Uh, uh, caught a, a little bit of a downside runner here in NVIDIA. Uh, right here, I got short right near the end of my session, right at about 10.30ish, uh, and just pushed down. And again, at this point, I was just kind of done trading. So I went ahead and closed that out, book 250. Uh, Roku, this one was a little bit frustrating. This was my biggest loser. I uh, did have some profits in here at one point, but when it bounced, it bounced up to uh, the... Uh, the pivot line here, I got short looking for some downside runner. I added to it right here and then it just ended up pushing through. So ended up just closing it out and taking taking that loss. Uh, I didn't trade it bad. I mean, that was my whole plan. That was my intent from the very beginning was it could bounce back up to this uh, pivot level, this price level here. And I was hoping for a, a reversal. It just didn't, did not happen this time. So took a loss on that one. Uh, Tesla. What did I do in Tesla? So in Tesla, oh yeah, so we got we got long here in Tesla as it, let's see, right, right here as it approached this pit. Let's see, no. What time was that Tesla trade? Bear with me just a second here. That was at 925. So yeah, right. Oh yeah. Okay. So right here. So as it bounced and approached this pivot, uh, 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 we, we got long on a mighty 90 trade. It bounced just one bar, took some profits here. When it started rollover, everything was starting to get really weak. So I just closed out the rest and ended up just taking a small profit on the trade, uh, 80 bucks. And then Uber, this one was a little frustrating just, I mean, primarily just because of my execution on the trade, but it was pushing, pushing, whoops. It was pushing, pushing, pushing all morning when it made this last push up to this pivot. That's where I got short. 
uh, ended up taking some nice profits off here. And I was trying to get at a more uh, before right here and it just never quite got me filled and pushed up. And then I was trying to get out as soon as it got above this pivot level and I just couldn't get filled. I just didn't, didn't have my orders in uh, at the right prices and it kept pushing, pushing, pushing. So I ended up taking a, a loss, a pretty sizable loss because it pushed way up here is when I finally got filled. And of course, right after that, it rolled over. But hindsight's 2020. I'm not saying I should have held it through this big move, but what I am saying is I should have taken a pretty small loss instead of took a, a pretty sizable loss. So anyway, uh, still green day plus 177. Uh, look for to, Oh, we are not streaming tomorrow, Wednesday morning on Veterans Day on the 11th, but we'll be back in the live trading room on Thursday and Friday at the market open. So look forward to seeing you then. Talk to you later.